A lot of new changes coming to this financial world, man. I'm keep telling y'all, pay attention to what's going on out here because, you know, we living in this world and we are a part of it. So whatever, whatever laws and rules, whatever changes that may happen will affect us. So look, Biden administration plans to slash overdraft fees at all big banks. We're talking about your Wells Fargo, your Chase, your Bank of Americas, etc. Because apparently, um, banks have made a estimated two hundred and eighty billion dollars in overdraft fees since the year two thousand. I'm reading this from the article CNBC.com, and also Biden warns us: if you are a customer who has repeatedly overdraft your account, if this goes into effect. Be looking out to get your bank account closed. Y'all hear it? Let me repeat that. If this goes into effect, where they slash and stop these banks from charging us these overdraft fees, if you are a repeated, a repeated customer who have overdraft your account, your bank may just cut you because at this point, you're no longer valuable to them. At this point, they're they not making money on you no more. They're losing money. They ain't making no more money. They can't charge you the $35, $30 that they once charged you for overdrafting. So now when you overdraft now, if there's no, no gain for them, they're going to just uh, close your account. And they they have, right here in this article, it say they have every right to do so. It's in the fine print. So, like I said, y'all, we, we have to keep our eyes open and pay attention to what's going on in the financial world because... The banks ain't our friend, y'all. The banks is not here for us to be to be real with y'all. We when we deposit our money, they take our money and loan our money out. And I mean, if you know the game, you know the game. They loan our money out and make interest and make interest on our money. That's why a lot of times lately you've been seeing people going to the banks and trying to take our money. The banks tell them they don't have the money. So also, let me uh, read a little bit of this article to y'all. The Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, which is the CFPB, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau on Wednesday proposed a set of new rules that would slash the fees banks charge customers for withdrawing more than available funds in their account. Americans have paid an estimated $280 billion in overdraft fees since 2000, according to data from the Consumer Watchdog Agency. Over the same period, major banks have steadily boosted profits. So, I mean, basically, they're getting rich off overdraft fees and junk fees and boosted profits doing so. For too long, some banks have changed overdraft fees, sometimes $30 or more that often hit the most vulnerable Americans the hardest. All while banks pad their bottom lines, President Joe Biden said in the statement. Banks call it a service. I call it exploitation. Now, we all know, you know, it's election year. I mean, election term. You know, we know Biden trying to do what he got to do to get, get back in office. So, you know, stuff like this. Now, I ain't going to lie. This, this is a good look. Cutting overdraft fees, a lot of people will love that. A lot of people love it. I don't overdraft my account, but I'm pretty sure there's people out there who, who, who you know, who may need to overdraft, you know, may need the money they make, they may um, overdraft or whatever. And, you know, they may need this. But like I say, if, you know, if, if, you, if you, your bank can disclose your account, if this rule gets set in play, if this get passed, the bank may just close your account if you overdraft. He say, banks call it a service, I call it exploitation. However, banking groups and some of Capitol Hill think the rules will limit a service that many financially vulnerable Americans rely on. So they're saying the rules will limit a service. I don't understand how it's going to, what they mean is going to limit the service. See, that's what I'm saying. They, they letting you know there, they're going to limit the service. We, they're going to be more limited to offering us services. The proposal now faces a lengthy a regulatory approval process, a period during which public can provide feedback. For now, the proposed changes are set to take effect 
in October 2025. So they're saying this, this is supposed to be happening in October of 2025. Here's what it means for you. The Biden is part of the, I'm sorry, the move is a part of the Biden administration larger ambition to tamp down on what's called junk fees charged by everyone, everyone from retirement plans to ticket sellers. Overdraft fees affect some 20 million, 23 million households in a given year and a proposed cutback will save Americans about 3.5 billion annually. That's good. I like that. The CFPB says much of that money would theoretically return to the pockets of lower income bank customers. Consumer report says 8% of bank customers generate nearly 75% of banks revenue from such fees. The new rules, which only apply to banks with 10 billion or more in assets. So this only applies to, to like I say, the big banks, the banks have to have 10 billion or more in assets will force financial institutions to treat overdraft coverage the same way they treat credit cards and other loans. That means if a consumer is able to over overdraw the account, the bank must provide clear disclosure about the rules and limit fees in the first year because they put it all in the fine print. So a lot of times we don't catch it. The rule would also limit the amount of banks who could charge fees. Fees can either be with what is cost banks the damn provide them. So they saying the fees can be between three to fourteen dollars, but they don't want it to be no thirty five and thirty dollars like it is now. So they saying they can, if they do keep the fees at least lower to like three dollars to fourteen dollars. The average overdraft fee is about twenty six dollars. What the new rules mean for consumers. Not everyone thinks the new rule would be a win for consumers. A website funded by the Consumer Banks Association called the proposed misguided, arguing that many Americans living paycheck to paycheck use overdraft service to make ends meet, which is true. Like I say, a lot of people who's working from paycheck to paycheck, they need that overdraft, you know, to make ends meet. But my thing is, OK, just lower the fees. Just lower the fees. Why well, y'all got to charge $35, $30? Charging $3 is cool. Y'all still making the killing. Charging $5 is cool. $4 is cool. Why well, I got to charge $35, $40? Y'all, that's crazy. Republican Congressman Patrick McHenry and Andy Barr struck a similar tone. The proposed rule issued today by the CFPB would, un would undermine the Bureau's Consumer Protection Mission, the lawmaker said in a statement. The Biden administration attempts to mandate one size fit all consumer financial products and services, diminish financial inclusion, limit consumers' choice, stifle innovation, and ultimately raise the cost of banking for all consumers. I don't understand how cutting back overdraft fees is raising the cost for consumers. So basically, what they're saying is if they cut these fees, they're gonna, they're gonna, they must gonna charge in some other area. They're gonna be some other increase in some type of fee or something in some other area. Because if you cut down overdraft fees, how would that make banking cost higher for us? So, I just wanted to run that bad y'all, man. They say this supposed to be hitting in October of 2025, which is next year. And uh, you know, if you're banking with a big, a big bank and you have multiple um overdraft fees or, or or you or you overdraft your account frequently i would say you know consider going to a um a smaller credit union because if this goes into effect you know you can possibly lose that account at that big bank they may just may not even want to mess with you no more but if you don't overdraft your account you don't got to worry about this i just want to drop this game on y'all for those who do I know a lot of people out there overdraft their accounts. I was once one of those um, people that overdraft my account all the time, especially at um, what bank was that? It wasn't Citibank. I forget what bank it is with the green logo. I forget what bank it is, but 
they stuff was so terrible. The way, the way they rent, the way they banking is, is terrible, man. You know, every time I spent money, it seemed like they was charging me double, and you know, they was they 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 um. They app was late. You know what I mean? You spend a hundred dollars. They don't show that you spent that hundred dollars or two days later. So you you didn't forgot you to spent the hundred. You looking in your account, you thinking the money you still got the hundred, that hundred gone. And then when you go spend more money, they hit you with the overdraft. And that's how they catch you. Let me show you how they let me tell you how let me read, let me show you how they catch you. Let's say you got a hundred dollars. Let's say you got five hundred dollars, you spend a hundred. You're supposed to have four hundred that should be showing up in your app. But that five hundred might still be showing for another three days. So you're not even knowing well you should know but you're not you know how sometimes you're moving fast you're not even knowing that you spent that honey and you forget that you just spent that honey now you didn't overdraft and bam you look up you got 80 i was getting hit with like 80 70 80 dollars in fees bro when i was at that bank i, had, I let that bank go and i'm like i can't y'all too slow for me y'all gotta update your website i'm moving fast i'm spending money sending money in there doing it there you know when you're moving fast you know, money moves, you, you can you can miss a lot of shit. So I just wanted to drop that on y'all, man. If you're banking with a big bank, be looking out for this, um, for this stuff. I don't know if it's gonna pass, but just be looking out for it because if it pass, you know, your bank might try to cut you.